Hi Aquarius, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the month of July 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. I hope you're doing fine Aquarius. So Aquarius, the overall, your overall energy for the month of July is the five of wands. So there's a bit of conflict within yourself uh, or you could be dealing with competition around you. Uh, in general, you could be confused about what it is that you should do. And this is like just going to be a general energy throughout the month of July where you may not be sure about what is the right action for you to take. Uh, the energy that you're dealing with is the four of pentacles so that somebody holding back from you you know this could be their energy their time or just somebody who's being defensive and guarded not really open towards your energy uh, the opportunity that's coming your way is the knight of wands so you're going to have a chance to shift uh, the energy when it comes to something like bring about a positive shift a change in path with the knight of wands this could be also a chance for you to move somewhere, you know, we get clarifiers. In your hopes and fears, you have the hermit. So you're hoping to be able to, uh, you know, look at something, study something and understand what happened in the previous cycle. And with, with the hermit, the hermit tends to lean more towards... The hermit tends to retreat from past energies and tends to lean more towards the unknown. So I think that's what you're hoping to do, Aquarius, for the hermit. In the potential outcome, you have the page of cups. So that's uh, emotional, uh, somebody showing up for you or you're showing up for somebody in an emotional way, but in a small way, not really big. So let's first clarify the five of wands for your overall energy. Why the five of wands for Aquarius's overall energy? So for the five of wands, you get the nine of swords, the seven of swords, and the ten of swords. All right, Aquarius, um, yeah, you're definitely stressed about something in the month of July. You're probably dealing with somebody and you're not sure how to go about the situation. With the Nine of Swords, this is something that you have been dealing with quite some time. Uh, you have the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords here. So there is a progress towards an ending and probably a much needed ending but with the seven of swords there could be a tendency to slip back into past uh, cycles you know maybe gem uh, maybe aquarius you don't want this uh, cycle to end which is why the seven of swords is showing up like the person or the situation that you're dealing with has caused you a lot of stress in the past and you kind of know that an ending is around, lurking around the corner. But with the seven of swords, it's like your mind wants to escape this ending. I don't think you're wanting to accept it. With the five of wands, there is conflict. So you do want to do the right thing, but, but your mind is cheating you at this time. Your mind is tricking you. It's your own mind that's tricking you. Aquarius. Now the energy that you're dealing with is the four of pentacles. So let's see what this is about.
So for the Four of Pentacles, you get the Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Earth sign, uh, the Two of Swords and the Magician. So uh, Aquarius, the person that you're dealing with is moderating themselves. They're holding themselves back with the Temperance and the Four of Coins together. But this is also, you know, an energy of healing. So it's possible that this person wants to heal the connection with you. But with the Two of Swords, there's some blockages that this person is facing. And the, the magician is here for the, for the energy that you're dealing with. So it looks like this person wants to manifest something. Uh, it could be, this manifestation could be in relation with you because obviously this is your reading. And, you know, let's just assume that this person wants to manifest something with you. But there are some blockages. And even if this person doesn't want to manifest something with you, if, if, the, if the energy you're dealing with is trying to manifest something else, there, there, there's some blockages in their energy with the two of swords and the four of uh, pentacles. This person's heart space is closed and they're not seeing something clearly. Uh, with the temperance, they have the right intentions to moderate and bring about healing to the situation, but there's some something coming in the way of uh, manifesting whatever this energy you're dealing with wants to manifest. Now, the opportunity that's coming your way is the Knight of Wands. So that's some kind of movement. Let's see what this is. It could be a movement coming towards you. You could be moving towards some something or somebody. So we have the lovers that fell on the floor with the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So, so Aquarius, there is going to be an opportunity for you to reconnect with somebody from the past. Or to get back with somebody in the past with the lovers and the six of cups this is somebody with whom you share history you could have had children or you could have shared pets or just lived like family with the two of uh, with the lovers this is a connection that it could be a soulmate connection but it's something that is really meaningful and it's something that you truly love this person you know um the lovers also sometimes represent choices. So, you know, with the two of pentacles here, which is also weighing the pros and cons, and the lovers is about choices. So you could be making a choice about whether you want to connect the same way with the person that you've been dealing with, this person who you have dealt with in the past. I think that is what you're, you're considering. And there's an opportunity for you to move forward in this connection, I think. There is an opportunity for you to re-establish this. But I think because of the nine of swords, you know, that you're in and all this conflict that you're feeling with the five of wands, you could be in two minds about whether you want to choose this connection or not, even though it's a lot of, there's a lot of passion and emotions and stimulation and it's an important connection the six of cups is also a soulmate card so definitely this is something that's going on with the soulmate and i'm not sure if this person is trying to manifest the connection with the magician but whatever this person is trying to manifest this person you're dealing with there are blockages now in your hopes and fears you have the hermit so let's clarify what the hermit is about for you so the queen of swords kind of flew out before i could shuffle properly So for the Hermit, you get the Queen of Swords, the Justice, and the Devil. Aquarius, I think 
you know, with the Queen of Swords, you're open to a conversation with this person that you're dealing with, but only if it's fair and like no nonsense. It has to be true with the justice. You're hoping that things balance out and that the universe supports you in achieving this balance. If this person has wronged you, then you're hoping for them to realize that they've done that. I'm not saying that you want the person to be wrong, but maybe you're hoping that, you know, they come to their, uh, well, I was going to say they come to their senses, but you're hoping that they realize, you know, how important this connection is or what they have done has hurt you in some way with the devil. I'm not sure why this is in your hopes and fears. Uh, I think... I think Aquarius, you're afraid that you will move towards this person. You're afraid that, you know, with the hermit, as you're hoping to focus on newer energies and look towards the unknown, you're afraid that you're going to get sucked into a toxic way of being that you have already experienced in the past, which is why it's showing up in your fears. And I think you're scared that if you talk to this person, you're scared that if you talk to this person, and if this person realizes their mistake, you're going to get completely attracted to them. That's another message that I'm getting. That you're going to move towards them irrespective of all this toxicity that is in your energy due to this connection. You still might go towards them and that's your fear now in the potential outcome we have the page of cups this is not fixed it could change so as in the outcome could change so let's look at why we have the page of cups for you Aquarius so we have two cards that fell out we have the hangman the king of cups and the six of swords so the six of swords so uh, in the potential outcome there is potential for growth in the outcome there is potential for growth from the page of cups to the king of cups and i think this is you and you this could be you your person or the both of you where feelings are go growing from something you know like a small apology to a hi to a hello or to like what you're doing hi what's up Thought I'll check up on you to, you know, I love you deeply, madly, truly, like I would, uh, as a, uh, to a, I would love a family member. So, like, there is a deepening of emotions in the potential outcome from being stagnant, you know, from a state of suspension, there is a, development and feelings and this seems like a big development from the page to the king and with the six of swords there is potential for you and this person to actually make peace and start over again now this is the potential aquarius if you don't want to start over you don't have to because i clearly see that you're fearful of getting drawn to this person but there is a potential for you and this person to get back and make peace. Uh, maybe not necessarily be the same way like you guys were in the past. The King of Cups loves from a distance. So, you know, it could be that you both start to feel feelings of love and acknowledge it, even though you guys are away from each other. So uh, Aquarius, let's see what the universe has to say to you. We'll get three cards for that. So you get the King of Swords, the Emperor, and Death and Rebirth. I think this is you and your person showing up, both as masculines for now. Now remember whether you're male or female, 
we can always i mean we always in gen embody all the genders uh, and all the energies in the deck so i mean we embody the energy of the king of cups the queen of cups the knight and everything so uh, you know with the king of cups i'm sorry with the king of swords and the emperor this is you and your person both showing up as masculines wanting to take action um, both wanting control and i think this is transforming this could also be you aquarius with the king of swords and the emperor or just uh, you know ending a way of controlling this because the emperor is known for control and the king of swords is also known for controlling and with the death and rebirth i think like this phase of controlling is uh ending or it could be that the connection between you and this person is just undergoing some kind of transformation but i think it's a lot to do with control because these two cards I th and if it's not the person that you're dealing with aquarius it's you that's letting go of control with the death you're transforming this energy and i think you're starting to um control the energies around you or yourself even uh, less than what you were in the past uh, so aquarius i hope this helped this is what i have for you uh, thank you uh, for watching sharing liking and subscribing i'm truly grateful for your kindness and i will catch you again soon later bye